Design shift. Well, it was a combination of events that kind of came together. So, you know, to begin with, we were doing some um, design work on financial products, uh, point of sale terminals for, for Clover. Uh, and so, you know, as part of that, we learned a lot about uh, some of the physical security that they put into the devices like that. Um, and then at roughly the same time, there was the whole uh, Edward Snowden thing where. Uh, um, it started becoming more and more public what uh, the government was able to do and it just occurred to us that it was something that you know we had the ability to uh, uh, marry sort of the, the um, physical security um, of the banking industry with uh, personal computing um, it was something that we had quite a lot of knowledge on and we thought you know we could do something really interesting with that and Absolutely, yeah, and the, the goal from the beginning is to be as much like a normal PC as possible, right? So uh, uh, if you download Ubuntu on a USB stick and plug it in and install it, it installs the same on ours as it would any other PC. It's itself, it's glass with a couple of metal clips here, and each of the clips has a small door. Um, if we want to do wired uh, networking instead of the Wi-Fi based, um, Certainly from a security perspective, a lot of people preferred wired networking. Um, so that's something that, that you can do if that's something you like. Um, and then this is the micro HDMI that uh, will support up to 4K video with audio. Um, so that's the, the normal way that uh, we get our video out of the device. Um, alternatively, uh, we do have a rack mount option. Um, you can use a remote shell to use the device, so you don't have to have a video connection directly yeah. outputting from it, depending on uh, exactly what you're up to. Yeah, yeah I guess the, um, th there's two really big fundamentals. One is the, the physical protection um, that, uh, that deletes your uh, cryptography key um, immediately when you try to open a case. Um, so that, that's super pivotal, I, I guess, on the design, and that's one of the, the key things that came from the banking designs. Um, and then I think the other really big one is the um, two-factor authentication, um, particularly with the one-factor uh, happening exclusively before the uh, Intel processor boots. Um, those two features really work strongly hand-in-hand -hand to, uh, uh, to give the physical, physical security that we talk about. Maybe I should have mentioned as well the, uh, the OLED on the top of the device that gives you um, uh, an indication of what the secure subsystem's doing. So uh, the uh, Maxim secure microcontroller uh, has complete control over that display. Um, so everything that's displayed on the device is controlled only by the secure subsystem. The Intel system doesn't actually have access, isn't connected to it. Uh, the first thing that it does when, it tells, when you press the power button is tell you it needs its key. Um, Using NFC, you present the key to the top of the device, it unlocks, and then it starts to boot. Um, we intentionally use the, the non-pro version of the SSD, um, and that's to uh, partially block some of the ability of, say, a network administrator uh, to uh, remotely unlock your drive um, without your knowledge. Sure, sure, yeah. I mean, that, there, there's actually a, a wide range. Um, so one group of people um, are security researchers in general, people who are interested in um, data security and, and how to protect um, uh, physical hardware intrusion. Um, it's a really small group, I think, that group of people. Um, but there are certainly a lot of people who are interested in those aspects of it and, and wanting to uh, um, you know, investigate sort of the limits of what can be done in terms of protecting hardware. Um, some more mainstream people, um, cer certainly I guess our idea is that almost anybody should be interested in it. Um, just uh, when it comes to s simple things like uh, online banking credentials and health records and, and um, even family photos and videos, I think that a lot of people have data that uh, um, you know, they're not necessarily interested in protecting from the NSA, but would quite like to know that if somebody, you know, 
stole their laptop or their PC, um, that that information wasn't going to be, um, you know, showing up on the internet in a couple of weeks, you know. Uh